spread. Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship and strength of God's spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, everybody. It is early afternoon now. Welcome on this beautiful day for a great celebration. Um, of course, most especially welcome to Pamela and Dermot. On this day of your wedding, um, you've reached this point, and I can see with wonderful uh, excitement, satisfaction, and joy in your in your heart and on your faces, and absolutely full expression of love and, and excitement. So that's great. Welcome to all the, the family that have gathered with you, the Bahi and the Gan families, and those who have joined from made the journey home from America and France and Italy. Uh, near and far. So, Father Ber Father. <coughs> David. Right. <laughs> and Liam, uh, the back of my head from Manali, so appreciate that. Today is, of course, um, like all weddings, days of great joy and celebration. Uh, days to acknowledge all the good things that we celebrate in life. And one of the greatest things that we celebrate, of course, is the gift of love. Because love is that which makes life full, brings the fullness of life at whatever stage we're at, whether just in the arms as infants growing a bit older as troublesome youngsters or older as obstinate and awkward people. <laughs> love fulfills our lives and it's so essential. And of course, married love is given such a privilege that in our faith it is a sacrament. And that sacrament is celebrated in the lives of these two people today, Pamela and Dermot. You celebrate that sacrament in a public way so that the world acknowledges the gift of your love for each other. You celebrate that love in a way that acknowledges a greater love in your lives, which is the love of God, the gift of faith. And as we come here today to celebrate this time of prayer, we acknowledge that gift of God's love in our lives and in your life. So in this place, during this time, we pray. And it is a prayer that is rich, filled with great meaning, symbolism. It is a prayer that is joyful, so it's upbeat, it's not somber. And it's a prayer that is inclusive of all that gathers here today to celebrate this great occasion. So, with relief on your face there, Dermot, <laughs> and we're able to get going. And, of course, acknowledging that the Lord... Um, is the one who graces us with his mercy and love. And so we ask that gift of peace as we just quietly pray as we moment begin our celebration. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. My thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
Father, hear our prayers for Pamela and Dermot, who today are united in marriage before your altar. Give them your blessing and strengthen their love for each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. So let us now listen to the reading from the Word of God. Guard her and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 